And in chapter 4a of Spanish 1, we learn the verb ir, which means to go. And ir is a completely irregular verb, so we're just going to have to memorize how we conjugate the verb ir. If I want to say that I go somewhere, it's yo voy. So it has nothing to do with ir, but we're just going to memorize it. Yo voy means I go. Tu vas means you go. El, a, a, usted, va means he, she, or you go. Nosotros, vamos, is we go, and ellos, ellas, o ustedes, van, is you guys, or they, go. Okay, and vosotros vais, if you want to know. So this is how we say to go. So when we want to say that we want to go to a certain place, we're going to use the word to. In Spanish, the word to is a. So if I want, if I'm going to the beach, we say voy a la playa. I'm going to the beach. If I'm going to the mountains, I would say voy a las montañas. But if I'm going to a masculine location, I cannot say voy a el parque. Just like de el sounds weird, a el also sounds weird. So in Spanish, they're going to change it to all parque. So when you're going somewhere masculine, instead of a el, it'll be a. I also want you to notice that this is not just to go. This is to be going. The ing is already part of the verb. So if we have a sentence like, we are going to church, a lot of times people say, how do we say we are? Well, we don't worry about that. We just say, vamos. That means we are going. All of that is included in the verb, here. So vamos, and then we do a, church is feminine, so it'll be a la iglesia. And the very last thing I'm gonna add to the notes here is that if you're going to that place in order to do an action, we add the word para. In order to, or to in order to. So I go to the beach in order to swim, yo voy a la playa para nadar. I go to the mountains to ski, voy a las montañas para esquiar. I go to the park to play, voy al parque para jugar. So I go there in order to do this action, I add para and then an infinitive. And that's how we're going to use ear, chapter 4a, Spanish 1.